Welcome to another Mentorship Monday. I'm Vinny E. Mini. Hang tight. We are about to play our favorite video game called Algobox, and tonight I'm going to teach you two strategies, both dealing with that infamous shark. One called the shark back, one called the shark tail. Are you ready? Let's do this. Alrighty then, let's head on down here to our training window. I'm going to turn that music all the way down. Right about there, hopefully you guys can hear me alright. And we are going to talk about the shark back and the shark tail. First thing, let me go ahead and come down to a drawing window here. And let's see if I can uh, do this any justice by trying to uh, draw one of these by hand. So this is going to be our chart here and I'm gonna draw the price in afterwards just because sharks are a little bit difficult to uh, to draw in by hand so how about we do a let's do a red shark first over here on the left and here we go all right so we're gonna move up and up come down and nice big big leg up um, it's not gonna be drawn to scale because the main thing I need to draw is the fin so let me leave a little space for the fin this isn't gonna be 100% um, accurate here. It's going to look more like a cipher or a butterfly. But the important part that I'm going to show you here is that PRZ. And on a shark for our Algobox system, it's going to look pretty much something like this right there. Now, draw a little, see if I can draw a green one next to it. If, uh, if we can do this, let's try not to uh, totally butcher this here. I uh, actually need to go the other way with this. So. To come up and down. Um, how about shoot? Hold on, it's gonna come this way. Go up that. Oh man, I'm rusty. I am rusty. All right, about like this. There we go. Yeah, I could have drawn this a little bit better to scale. It's okay. When you guys see the live examples, it'll be a lot better. All right, there's my poor. Example of trying to draw out some uh, some some sharks here. All right, so first thing we're looking for. Oh man, I just messed that up. Okay, I'm all kinds of jacked up tonight. Sharks. All right, sharks in the water. Now, what is the most important thing about our sharks? It is in Algobox. Uh, I need to draw this in the right color here for this. There's going to be a little tiny smidge line up here in this PRZ and I draw this on purpose in in our system so that we've got an ultimate entry on the shark and this is what we're gonna talk about here tonight now you can take sharks all kinds of different ways tonight don't uh, first of all as you're watching this video if you are going to be a uh, cypher harmonics um, butterfly crab alt crab trader this is not specifically for that. Tonight we're talking about the shark back. Make sure you go and watch the other strategies. This is going to be the shark back and the shark tail that we are focused in here tonight on these two strategies. So don't be confused and don't take this video as the all encompassing uh, for all these. You need to make sure that you go and um, watch the other videos on those. Now, if price is coming up here into the shark on a shark back, it is very, very simple. All we are looking for folks um, is this right here. That line and that line right there. These are going to be your entries. Okay. So for your entries on a shark back, what do you think it's going to be on a red? We are getting short. Whoa, genius level here. All right. We are wanting price again, using P for pink. Uh, pink price right there and we're coming up into this and hopefully we're getting some kind of drop off and out we are looking for a move like this now what we would love is to see this thing keep on going 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 but where are we targeting target one oops 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 oops, oops. okay control Z that and give me some blue please there we go so target one if we are entering in up here is right here so we are targeting that front line right there uh, let's go with orange t1 
All right, there we go. For target one, gonna be the front of the box. Target two, we wanna be 10 ticks outside the box. If we go back to our blue here, so we'd say somewhere right about here. Oops. Oh, that's unfortunate. I hit Control Z instead. All right. And let's try that one more time there, Vinny. Here we go. And right about here is going to be about 10 ticks. D2. All right. And runners, same plan as always. Now, again, what do we want to do on most of our stuff at Algobox? We are living on target one, target two. Okay. Bonus material comes on things like what? Favorable direction, Mac V. What about those? Order of operations, make sure if you do not know what these are. Okay, order of operations, less important when it comes to the shark back. Okay, now, does that mean we don't take it into account? No. Will I take a shark back regardless of order of operations? That means I don't care what the favorable direction is. That means do I not care about what the Mac V filter is? That's correct. I will still take a shark back. This is, is such a simple operation. The stop, here is, here's why. The stop on, on a shark is, is right here, okay? If you're entering in, this is such a small, small um, risk to reward ratios, um, ratio on this, okay? Here is your, there's your stop, okay? <laughs> your, you're literally risking sometimes, you know, again, it depends on the size. I'm not gonna say what this is, but the ratio of this, can you see the ratio on this? Now, every shark is a little bit different. There's no specific R ratio on these. Um, it depends on the time frame and some other things. Internals for what we're doing with our sharks, okay? And our sharks are a little bit different than any other harmonics tool out there. So if you have some other weird package, again, if you're not using Algobox, you're probably losing. If you uh, want to come and, and join the dark side, um, the profitable side, you might want to come and check us out. So there's there's where your stop is. Tiny, tiny little stop right there. There's your risk. Your reward is all of this right here. Juicy, juicy reward. Why? Um, you can obviously see why this is one of my favorite trades right here and why I'm going to take this, you know, regardless of, um, regardless of that order of operations. Okay. Now, when I say less important, this is... Um, this has to do with runners. If I am going to be looking for some additional runs, if I'm going to look for more movement, then obviously then take into account that favorable direction and what time of day it is and that MACV filter. Okay, you guys got that for the runners? Okay. The runners will depend on this right here. Target one, target two, this is where we're living. Taking off that, again, if we are on, on other strategies, we're talking about a 10 and a 15 or a 15 and a 25, we will take that all day long, okay? Uh, that's, we're talking about ticks here. And then for runners, yeah, you know, that's bonus material. That's the difference between the big house on the corner with the lights and, you know, hey, you got a white picket fence, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, now obviously everything, you know, I'm not gonna draw this out the other direction, but you guys get it, same thing in the opposite direction. Here is gonna be your target. There is your stop, there's your entry, target one, and of course, target two, right outside. Runners, depending on time of day, uh, algo box, I'm sorry, audio box, listen in on audio box, listen if you've got multiple crosses coming into this location, you guys should know the drill on that. We'll use some examples now in some live things, but make sure you guys take a screenshot of this or redo this and take some of your own notes on this, but hopefully you guys kind of gather what the shark back is right there, okay? This is, oops, I should have labeled that, this is called it's gonna be the shark back, not to be confused with the shark tail, okay? Now, sorry, take that screenshot. So this is the shark back, okay? Back of the box, back of that PRZ, take that entry, boom, right there, target one, target two. Now, I'm about to race this here real quick, not the whole thing, but we're gonna go and show you guys what a shark tail is gonna be with one of these strategies, okay? So, forget the shark back, let's talk about the shark tail what is a shark tail and the difference it's um it's subtle but important if you had taken the original entry off of a shark uh, off of a shark back that means you entered right here 
at this location and you're trying to get short. But if the price ends up breaking through, boom, right there, and you got stopped out, okay, you close out your trade, okay? But then just right here ends up, we get some, any harmona dot, I'm sorry, any, any dot, which will be a harmona dot at this time because we have a harmonic plus a dot entry. So, and again, if you don't know what the dots are, if you are lost, you know, go watch our other videos, but we are gonna assume at this location, I don't care if it's green or red, whatever color this dot is, I'm looking to get in. Most of the time, it is gonna be the same color as the PRZ, but sometimes you will be able to even see price move up and around. So let's go the, the normal one first. So right back here, off of that shark tail, you might get a red dot. Now, um, hopefully it's somewhere like here. Um, I should have drawn all the price over a little bit farther, and it's gonna be right back behind the box. That is the important part, because it is literally on the tail end of the PRZ. It is the shark back with, now we're sitting here and we get a dot right on the back of the tail, okay? This is the entry for this. Now, you can also get one of these if we get a cross back here. If we get a cross and the position starts to move back the other direction, okay, it can be a dot or a cross, okay? So if we get a, and I'm looking for a white cross, um, I can't draw in white on the utility that I have, but if I get a white cross back here, I will also take that entry. Where does the stop go? Stop, it's gonna go right back here above the cross or above the dot, as it always is on any of those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oof. Uh, right on any one of those shark tails. And look, I know this is getting a little bit messy on this screen here. I'm gonna show you guys this in some real examples here in just a moment, but I wanna make sure you understand um, the entries and the exits first. Targets stay the same on the, um, the shark tail. Now, if you are, if you've got your ATM set up with multiple, uh, multiple entries, I'm sorry, multiple targets, and you've got target one, target two, target three on there, and you want to push those, if you want to have target uh, one be at 10, second one at 15, make sure that one of them is here plus a runner. That is also perfectly fine. Okay, so again, there are adaptations to this. The important part is the edge in the entry. The edge is in the entry. What are our targets? Again, you can be, you can adjust that based on other things that are going on at that time. Um, we just want to make sure that we've got that pivotal turning point, and that's what we're looking for on that PRZ. Again, PRZ stands for Potential Reversal Zone. That is the box. There is the dot or the cross off of the back of it going back into the other direction. Okay. Um, let's see. Recovered thing. that stops on it and push it back down. Yes. Now, let's talk about the exception. If we get, sometimes you will get a green dot. Okay. And we'll be coming in something, um, something like this okay and you get a green dot if it's a green on the back of a shark i am taking that long some people get a little confused on this but on a green dot we are going long even though i know the prz is red here on this one okay it whatever color the dot is that's where we're going on a cross do we care no the cross is going to be a is going to go with the direction color of the prz so if that cross comes in i am still expecting that we are moving back down and inside on a red shark with a red prz okay but if i get a green dot off the back of one of these i am looking to get long everybody got that if you got any questions you know please you know ask them over there in discord or down in the comments down below and we can try to get some more details there for you. Now, let's go into some live examples. And of course, everything that we did here to the short side and long, flip that on a green shark. Good? All right. You guys are, are, are done with my, uh, my crazy uh, Crayola drawing stuff. But, uh, you know, that's how we do it around here. All right. So here is what a shark in action looks like. Now, sharks in the water. So what's different about a shark versus other harmonics. Uh, I pulled this little uh, you know picture up here from Google and it is all about the fin. We have a very large PRZ and it's uh, a little bit narrower and tall um, on, a, on a PRZ for a shark back. You'll start to see that in some of our, our drawings here that if you look at, in compared to any other harmonics, this is some of the biggest, I'll call it the fin, the biggest PRZ, nice and narrow, big, fat, long, um, uh, fin on that and of course gives us that great opportunity to have such small amount of heat So let me zoom this back down. So here we go. This is going to be a live shark And also happens to be a cypher shark here Although the PRZ for the cypher ended up up here, but look at the difference in the size of these Okay, look at the size of this PRZ on the right big old fin That is the classic telltale sign of a shark 
versus others like a cypher or butterfly or crab. This is that key characteristic, that big old fin. So when you see that big old fin come out, I love it because you also have time. This is a one of those strategies that like it shuts up and it's like, oh man, I get to wait until it gets back here. I'm waiting for price to get all the way to the back of that shark. And I'm gonna take that entry right there and my heat, I mean, look at my heat. My heat, um, let's do that in red. Such a small amount of heat, you know, target one right up here. Such a beauty, 10 ticks out, target two. And then this one ends up giving you lots of runners, probably because of the time of day. Let's see what time of day this is. 3.30, yeah, late day, late day play. This ends up being the 3.30 reversal. Um, and 3.30, and we get that final half hour move up. That is a beautiful trade set up right there. Perfect entry off of that. Now again, you're like, oh yeah, pulling up perfect examples. Yeah, yeah, look, they're not all gonna be perfect like this one. Okay, I'm just gonna start with this great one right here. Okay, it gives us target one, target two, and big, big runners, even a place to add to your position right there. If you are in your final 40 days on that 120 day program with us, you are gonna be looking to uh, build position and add to the position as it goes your direction. All right, let's take another example here. Okay, so another shark back. Look, you know, classic pattern here or classic visual. You see the big fin going in right here. Um, I don't see the line on that one. This one, this might be a mislabel. I can't see that it's a shark. Uh, that might be a mislabel. Uh, I'm gonna blame someone else. I would never make such a mistake. Okay, here's one in action, starting to go right off the bat. Now, this is, uh, I wanna use this one as an example because you know this one kind of broke the back right here, but ends up coming right back down, right? So we're gonna enter in right here. I might re-enter if I end up getting stopped out by a tick here, and this thing comes right back down in, um, especially now that we've got audio box, and obviously right here, I'm probably gonna guess that we likely got algo box um, kicking off at the same point. That made it pretty obvious on this one. Again, not every example is as easy to see as this one right here, but this is pretty classic where you've got a nice, beautiful setup right there. A lot of the market is gonna be looking up right here. Um, you know, it looks like, oh, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of people off on the wrong side. It looks like we're moving up and up. And then boom, gives you a nice little opportunity to take a drop on that one. That is a nice little setup right there. Um, here is, this one's a little bit odd. Let's see, one of, my, one of my favorites there. So that shark broke through. This one here, this one's very odd. Why is this one not? drawn correctly I'm not sure what's going on with this one let's skip on that one <laughs> okay um, I'm blaming someone else um, okay so shark back very clear on this one there's your entry there's target one this thing continues up and out easy very very minimal um, stop on this one again you can always give something two tries never three you guys know the rules let's take a peek at um, this shark right here this one was not, it did not get all the way to, you know what it is? I think it's the zoom level. Um, what's it going? Yeah, I think Simon took this one. I, I believe this has to do with the zoom level. This looks like it's a little bit too zoomed in. So that is something going to be key. Make sure that you are not too zoomed in or too far zoomed out here, it looks like, so that you can't see the line that's going to come in on those for that shark back. Um, I can see one right here. This is an actual entry right there off of the back. You guys can see that. So entry, three contracts. Now, the targets here are wrong. Who took this, was this Simon? Yeah, it's all right, that's okay. Not, not gonna rag on it, but um, what we are looking for is, um, man, that's like, what is it, like a five tick target? I think he's got, I think he's using his, he's using a two finger uh, ATM. So again, don't recommend that, it's okay. We can learn, learn from things not to do, it's all good. So where does the stop go? Stop, we want right back behind here. Right, stops in the wrong place. But again, when he just originally fired this off, this is probably just his initial screenshot. Let's see if this ends up going to target, yeah. So, ends up turning right back down uh, for him, gets all three of his targets, but again, those aren't really proper. Really, target one should be right here. Now, he's, you're gonna end up getting a little bit of heat, typically, in one of these. You're gonna end up seeing something like this that you will see quite often. Uh, so, off of that target one, it's also, also uh, often times a great opportunity. I love it when we get an extra red dot in here. It's great one of those that you can get that HMD. Red would be a great if you get um, a cross in this location to add to that position to get some additional uh, drop off on that shark back trade. Okay. Um, don't see the continuation after this one. Uh, appreciate Simon posting some of these in here. This one, uh, pretty, pretty classic. That's a perfect shark play right there. Um, Based on that text, that looks like my text. 
I think that's uh, off of mine. So there is that line right there. I mean, it's it can't get any much more clear than that one right there. This is a pure shark. And there's nothing else here um, going along with this one. And that is a shark and a push right up and out. You can see that. Okay. So not to belabor the point, um, here is dual confluence. Is this dual sharks? Yeah. This is a neat little one right here. Um, great little example. Sometimes they will lay on top of each other. You can see the, now again, up to you. If you want to, some people like to pull their price back out in front. Um, kind of up to you. You can, and you can see that the price bars are back behind that right there. And that's, that's okay. But as long as you can see it clearly, um, this one looks like I would probably want to either change the opacity here a little bit, uh, lower it just a little bit more so I can see that or go ahead and pull the price up and out. And this looks like one of mine as well. So that's on me. Um, I did not, uh, didn't do that on this one. So targets, um, still a little bit close here. Uh, probably one of my own default ATMs as well. Stops are kind of in the right place because we've got dual sharks going on right there, but we're looking for some targets and I'm looking for that target too. And maybe we'll get some runners as we go and push into that one. That is a full size position on that one. Um, did we show pushing that up and out? Yeah, so there is the us uh, hitting through on target one. And didn't get a perfect entry on that because of that's being that's in queue. So a little bit of slippage, not perfectly able to get right in on that line, um, punching in on buy market orders, not getting perfect fills, but great uh, great little trade right there for the shark back. Um, what is this one? That's interesting. Pinpoint entry HMD looks like a break. So it looks like a shark stop out there. Um, oh, the shark is right here. Okay. There it is. So there is a little shark right there. You see that? You guys see that? Yeah, shark. And then this is a dot that landed right on the backside there. I mean, that's a perfect, That's a. it doesn't get much more perfect than that. I mean, you're, you're gonna, I mean, come on, play the video game. If that shows up, just press the button, right? Um, easy, easy prey, e easy, easy trade right there. Okay, now this looks like a shark tail. Let's go into this right here. Um, so shark and a power dot. So looking at the confluence of that dot right there, matching up with this location here, two try rule, we get the break of this, ends up breaking back out. You'd have to re-enter right there to take that shark back for target one and ends up looking like this may continue on and get some more targets. Looks like a good one. You got shorts favorable here. This is definitely one that I would want to be swinging at pretty hard on that one. Now, what I also noticed in this image is a shark tail. Can you guys see the shark tail coming in here? We've got a... Uh, a big shark setup right there and look at that dot shows up right there at the very end and ends up launching this whole direction off of that dot right there a dot back behind a PRZ especially on a shark that is a shark tail right there okay if you are looking for labels shark tail right there and of course what we're labeling up here is this shark opportunity again not not a perfect one right here again we're not here to just show folks that everything is perfect every time we're going to show you some various examples and this is why i want you guys to do market replay and practice but i also can come in here and show you these now if you're wondering where these are located you guys can come into our our trade room again this is free to come in and check out but uh, there are sections that only the premium members have access to but everybody has access to this section if you want to get to it um, on the left hand side uh menu you're going to be looking for strat and this is the shark back. So it should be an order, here we go, right there, okay? So if you wanna come into our trade room in Discord and go take a peek at all of the examples you're seeing here tonight, I'll just go through a couple of more. Um, what's our time? We're right at 26 minutes, so we got four more minutes. We'll wrap this up here at a half hour. Um, this one is a big shark setting up right there. So we wanna enter in right there, stop going off the top of that back there. And that's going to be a nice big one right there. Here's what it looks like a little bit bigger. Here's on uh, gold uh, GC that's coming off of the 21 range. So again, this can come off of any range. Now, I usually like to take these off of the lower time frames. Going to take these off of the twos, the threes, the fives, the eights off of the algo bars. But can they show up on big time frames? Sure. Very, very rare that that's going to ca happen. Um, but let's go through. So shark tails. Do I have a... Um, I think you guys can get the shark tail, right? It's basically the shark, it's got the dot off the back. But what I wanna talk about while we just have those last few minutes is um, how do you make sure that you got these? If this is like gonna be, be one of your primary strategies off of the shark back, then you're gonna to want to increase the number of charts that you've got going. Now, what do I mean by that? So 
here is our standard layout. If you guys have installed AlgoBox, you're gonna have this is this is a very you know standard bland you know 101 setup. Okay, we've got multiple time frames. We got our highest time frame up here, tide. We got our wave. We've got our filter. Okay, going through the Mac V. I always talk about visualizing passing through this filter, right? Boom, and then our entries are coming off of this chart or this chart right here. Okay, and this is gonna be the lowest time frame, a little bit higher on our standard setup. Now, if I'm taking shark back trades, okay, I want to add some additional things. Okay, so if this is the ones, okay, which again, that's pretty rare. The only one that we're really doing on the Algobar ones is the ES. You usually wanna start this at the twos. This is only gonna be twos, but we want the twos, the threes, the fives, and the eights. Okay, now on the Algobars. And you want to be able to have those lined up for yourself if you if you have enough horsepower. Again, you want to get, that's why I say like more is more here. If you're getting CPU power, you want to have multiples of these set up. Now, that's across one single instrument. But now on top of being able to do the single instrument with multiple time frames on the lower time frames particularly, I also, because of the speed of the markets now, again, like right now when the VIX level is, you know, up in the 20s and 30s, please, you can trade this on one or two markets and you'll have plenty of opportunities. But when the market gets back to what I call normal, somewhere in that, you know, 13, 14, in the teens range on the volatility level and the VIX, then you're, you're really going to be hard set and hard pressed to find some of these setups. They're going to be a little bit more rare. So what you want to do is increase the number of instruments that you have. So don't just trade just the ES, okay? You want to have you know, a layout that's got the ES, the NASDAQ, the Russell, um, the YM, right? You want to add the GC, you want CL, okay? Uh, when a market gets really slow, you're gonna need to add the sixes, okay? You want the six E, you want the six J, okay? Maybe even the six A, but you want to increase the number of of trade stuff. Now, I do. I never recommend going on beyond eight. Okay, but you want to start to expand out. If you're going, man, this is so so slow. I never. I didn't see one shark set up today. You know, I need. I wish I would have seen some shark setups. I would encourage you to start to expand off and set up more than just the standard. You know, standard ES or some people are trading just gold or just crude you might wanna start adding some additional instruments across your screen. So that's why people ask all the time, like, well, are all those screens necessary? No, they're not absolutely necessary, but if, if you wanna make a whole lot of money, okay? It's a difference between, look, if you wanna just get by, you wanna make a living, no problem. If you wanna make a living, you know what I'm saying? Then you want to give yourself the most amount of opportunities, spread them out in front of you, and take your shots, okay? Um, I think we have covered everything I want to cover here tonight on the sharks, the shark tails, and what to do as far as getting yourself more opportunities on those. I was going to go into some results, but I do encourage you guys to come over here into our uh, trade room and look at those. I won't uh, waste time on doing those because I went a little bit long here tonight, but head on over here to our public chat, and I always recommend you go scroll through and see some of our members' uh, results. There are some, um, you know, just... Results matter, folks. Go in and take a peek for yourself. Try it out. You can get the two-week free trial. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go and uh, head on over to the website. Try it out. Come hang out with us, and I will catch you there in the Discord room. Thanks for hanging out here with me tonight, folks. I will catch you on the flip side. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. I'm sitting out the big H-Town. See ya.